Hi Hazy and welcome to my channel and if it's a bit noisy it's because I've got the fan on, the <laughs> window open, it's a hot day. What am I doing today? I am um, doing some foam stamp printing, let me show you, um, give you tricks and tips. Okay so there's this one, there's this one, I don't think I showed you at the end did I? And there's that one and then we're making something with those. That was one I did originally. This is one I do today as well. But if you cut them up, uh, like use a strip or something like that as a pocket, you ink them up and do some edging, etc. I'm also going to show you some amazing stuff in here you will love. Yeah. So, yes, it's all blue today because I'm making a blue TN, okay? It's a traveller's notebook. It's not. It wouldn't be a traveller's notebook, it's just called that. <laughs> but it's not a, not one you actually would fix in a traveller's notebook case or anything. It's just a, that size notebook. It's very really nice, isn't it? Yeah, as you can see, this as well. I'll, show you, I'll tell you how I made that as well. It's so easy if you don't know how to do that. If you don't, if you, if you know how to do that, you'll know it's so easy. <laughs> So let's go and I'll show you what we're doing today. Right then, so I've got <laughs> I've got to do some blue here. I can't stop saying it. I've got to do some blue um, things today. Let me show you what I've... This is... Um, oh dear. I'm not going to make this because this is Hither and Young Studio. But I made my own 6x6 paper. Didn't need to. I've got plenty. But I thought, have I got any blue? I don't know. But I needed blue paper. This is actually very... Quite thick paper, really. Let me get me paper clip off. I'm going to show you the paper okay so how pretty is this we're going to do this show you how to do that today using foam stamps yeah and there's another oh yeah I know I've got another idea as well that I can show you okay that was also foam stamps um, this is obviously obviously that is you know that uh, that is all foam these are all foams if you haven't made foam stamps make them they're so cheap to make yeah, fun. Uh, that's all foam stamps. This uh, page edges foam stamps. But let me show you what else I've done as well. Not just yeah, foam stamps, gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. So just add in the extras. Um, that's a good thing as well. You get them the same, the right size every time as well, which is really good. Okay, I'm sorry about all the noise. I can hear somebody's mail outside, and the fan behind me. It's absolutely boiling today. I'll be able to tell you how many degrees in Fahrenheit it is. That's um, some more things I did. These are um, also Hither and Yon Studio. Um, okay, that's one of the things. I'm looking for the pocket. Where's the pocket I did? That's another thing I can show you how to do as well, these. Is it bright enough in here? I've got to have the curtain shut because the sun is going mad outside. We've got really sun. It's a really sunny day, really hot day hottest day in weeks and months well probably months actually <laughs> and we had a hotter day in May yeah so that's the sort of thing I can show you how to do as well there's a lovely there's a nicer one than that I did that butterfly that's obvious how I do that I've got to rub my lines out right, it's not obvious how I did that now yeah there it is that one I love that oh I've used I've actually got a frame. Oh no, it's different. It's a different design. No, it's a different design. But I have got a frame. If you want to use, if you want to make a frame out of one out of rubber, <laughs> yeah, I think that's amazing. And I'm going to use some pens as well. Yeah, let me just show you the butterfly because I didn't. I think I skipped over it. Yeah, it's well. It is obvious if you can see what I've done there. But that I've done a mini mini version of what the one I usually do, just onto the the page with the blue rose. I haven't got any cards in here yet so I've got to make some cards so perhaps, perhaps the ones I'm making today I can make the cards out of. See this is all blue and marbling paper. Look, I love those. You've got some marbling, just two lots of blue. They are two lots of blue marbling paper. So it's in water, it's not in um, anything special. Uh, it's PBO, I use PBO PBO marbling paper uh, to do that okay so it's absolutely and it's ever so easy to do just uh, get a tray of water P 
PBO mark, just drip it in, stir it up a bit, and then dip your paper in. Make sure it doesn't go on the other side, although it doesn't matter as long as it's not wet. And on the other side, do it again. If it is wet anywhere, it won't. Uh, you can drip water on it to make a make effect. Anyway, this is my um, when I want to have a go on. Okay, so that's the stencil I made myself yesterday. I'm using it in reverse. Okay, so I'm spraying. I'm actually putting oxides on um, something, then dipping the stencil in it, and then put spraying water on the paper. This is photo paper. It feels like normal paper, and. Um, Trying to get rid of the the line, right? And that is, um, and then you just brayer it on. So and then just bring it off, and then you've got all this prettiness, yeah. So it's gone a bit purple, but I'm hoping they accept purple. Okay, so what I'm going to try and do is do one of those um, ones with the big flower. Okay, so I'll quickly do this. I've got this. Is the, these are all the ones I've used. I've cleaned them a bit, so not those because they're already. Look, I've got four. That's the one I had previously. I've got all these. Okay, so I've got some mini ones. And I've even got a cherry blossom one because my punch, my cherry blossom punch will punch um, that size. It's a very, here it is actually, <laughs> very cheap. For, if you're in the, in the UK, you can get that from the works. Or you could. And it's got a massive... Um, thing here that enables you to punch foam but a lot of them don't have that big pot unless they are the heavy duty punches which have get older heavy duty punches okay so what I'm going to do I don't know if this is going to work on here I've got a six that's a six by six paper um, I've cut okay and let me show you my this will actually do six by six papers perfectly between there and there and this line here so that's the this is the actual thing that comes out but that between there and that that is exactly six inches and that is that's blow me away <laughs> so i love that i love that feature and there's another one i've got another one the um fiskers one which has got a a wire down it so i've got several so of course i have yeah Right, ones I've got, these are the only blues I've got, okay, so I've got Mermaid Lagoon, that is new, I've got Peacock Feathers which isn't, which is more of a turquoise, but I'm hoping it, I've got Uncharted Mario, which is, Mariner, which is not, it looks blue actually, so it could, that could pass as blue, couldn't it? I've got Blueprint Sketch, which is a new one, in fact, that's fairly new, uh, Mermaid Lagoon's new, that's new, and then I've got Broken China, which is a really old one. Should I have another one? No, it's, I'm thinking of peacock feathers, I think. There is. I'm going to see how it prints on here. I'm going to put some dark. I think I might use the... See what that looks like. Where's a piece of... I might try... Let's get a piece of trying paper. I'm going to try it on this. Somebody's doing their lawn and it's annoying, yeah. It's not our lawn. Imagine it was our lawn, gosh, it'd be... There you go, that, that's that's not too bad. That's like a grey-blue, really, isn't it? So it has printed on this. So it might work okay, right. Okay. Um, but that's the one I did before. I used um, this one. Yeah, I think I might use that one again. I'm going to use this one, even though it's got that printed on it. I'm going to use a blueprint. Okay, this is not the colour I would wear in real life. <laughs> but I do love it for... Um... Is it funny how the ones that are like orange and green, I love... I mean, I do like green, actually, but orange. Not the really... Co not colour I would actually wear. Right, so what I'm going to do is make some patterns, okay? It doesn't matter if it doesn't print properly, but next time I want it to print properly, okay? Um, because it's all hand printed and it looks quite good. So I'm doing it in a pattern, you don't have to, you can do it randomly. 
Um, I'm trying not to get the corners on. I mean, I could cut the corners off, but uh, I don't know. Right, I'm going to put that one there. Okay, and this one here. You don't have to do a pattern, as I say, you can do random stuff. I don't think that would I think that would be there off the page so I'll leave that so that's enough of those okay then I've got three other ones four other ones even and I'm going to print uh, I can still print that one that one is the I think oh that must be the mermaid lagoon it's really because it's a new one it's um, really strong I'm going to stay in my hand. I'm trying to have a look to see which way round it is. <laughs> okay, these have got a direction, I'm afraid, yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going to put them like that, actually. I love these. I just, uh, <laughs> I cut out, hopefully I've cut out my sneeze. But now I'll be sniffing. So if I start sniffing, that's why. You'll know why. Oh dear, it's so annoying. Right, um, I think it's, it must be the, um, I don't even get hay fever, but yeah. <laughs> See, you've done a nice pattern like that. I'll use that one, so I'll put that one there. Uh, let's try this one. Sorry, I'm tired. Obviously, I'm boring myself. <laughs> no, really. no, I'm not really. Right, okay, so that's your... Um, and that one's the way round. I like to have one of the... Uh, I like to have the thing at the top. You can have which way round you like. <laughs> yeah, so these are easy to make. I did these with... I think I did it all with scissors. Or did I cut that out with a cutter? So I've got one of those, you know... Um, what do you call them? Pincer cutters. Um plier cutters they're not actually called plier cutters I haven't even got the, them in the room have I um, they've got handles on them they're on my other, some of my other videos so uh, right so I'm going to try and get these in a, away as well I'm going to put these in the middle actually oh that's the same that's very similar colour isn't it I mean, I could dip it in that and dip it in that and see if I can get an e a little bit of an ex different colour. Oops. Yeah, because that's naughty, isn't it? Yeah, like I'm getting extra bits. I don't think it matters about it. Doesn't it look nice already? That looks nice. So you can leave it like that. But I'm going to add my... Um, I'm going to add my... These. Ancient... ancient let's have the ancient... Mar it's not ancient mariner. It's... Um, yeah and i'm going to add these randomly because i don't know where on earth i'm going so uh, so we can just add them up they're sort of like not there yeah, printing very gently can you can we actually see what i'm doing <laughs> i think this is about in frame isn't it and then i'm going to put some more this down as well yeah i'm just printing these randomly it reminds me of those, um, oh, what they call them, begin with them, those stamps you can get where you've just, you've got the tube thing and then you stick the stamp on the end, on each end, and then you, it reminds me of that. There we go, if I can find out what they're called, I'll, I'll put it on the screen. I've got some, see that'll do, that's how nice that is. That looks like it's been printed. That actually in real life as well. I don't know if you can see that, but that looks like it's been printed professionally. I mean, I could copy that and print it. I don't know whether I am. That's um, plate. That's just uh, that's the one with the that I don't, um, stung the stencil on. Right. Okay. What else did I do? Let's have a look. So I oh, there's other one. Oh, do you like that at the bottom there? Lot like, adorable. Like the way that's written, it looks professional. Looks almost professional. If it's a bit neat, it would. <laughs> but professional means um, to me sometimes means machine, and I don't like that idea. Right. So uh, see, I've got all these. Oh, I've not got that one out. 
And that's the stencil, that's the stencil I did and made, I made that stencil. It's that one, but I'm going to do that one in a different way. Um, another one, I know there was. That one. Yeah, I'm going to, uh, but that's a strip, isn't it? Could try it as not a strip. Hmm, what's all my six these? I made that one, that's very similar to this one. But I cut that out using those, um, ones with a hole, the big sort of, they've got pink, mine have got pink handles. You know what, I'm sure I could bang and find them. Found some straight away. These are the ones, them sort of things. I've got, the one that I use for that has got a big circle. This has got a tiny circle, but the one I used has got a big circle. So, but I have got a vi whole video on those. Right, so I might put these on randomly as well. No idea what that's going to turn out like. Um, I have got these as well. So these are, a lady told me to do like a, so cut out a circle then cut it off like apple peel. And I think that's a brilliant suggestion. I'm not sure if that's, that might be one I did with that. Yes, that will be. That's just one I kept cutting out circles. It's a bit maybe it's a bit easier. And of course, I'm going to do this one with this one. Brilliant for mark making, these are. Yeah, so I'm gonna use that as my main feature, I think. So there's that. So if we ignore these, these are, that's easy, easy to clean off this mat. Okay, very, very good mat. I did use my heat tool, heat um, thing on here when I was making the stencils, but it's made marks. I don't know if it's <laughs> as good as what I hope. Right, these I can you can bend them a little bit, or you can mask them. So you could bend it so it doesn't print it all. I'm just, or you could even do it like that and so it doesn't print it all, so just do a little bit at the top. Why has that got, because I have actually done number, it looks like number eight. Yeah, that'll do. I'm supposed to be doing blues, yeah. Oh, don't have a gun flower. No, we're not doing flowers, there. What else did I do? Oh, I did these, yes. I can do some of these. Again. if that's any good. <laughs> that's like that. Oh, that one's coming off a lot. Ah. So you can, it's just little um, things joined together and stuck on. I'll have to put that back on then, won't I? don't know why that's come off. Probably because I keep bending it, yeah. That's, I don't know, um, what they call them, um, zebra crossings, yeah, zebra crossings, these are, the, we have these in the UK, I don't know if anybody else does, <laughs> well I think I've seen them on um, tellies and that, yeah. Oh, can you hear a little wren, I think it's a wren outside. Eurasian wren. Yeah. These actually remind me of fish when it starts to print that bit. Right. So that looks like basically nothing, but when you cut it out, so you cut a strip. For what you want to use, so you're using it for the front of that. 
it looks really nice and then you would edge it with something edge it with some pen or with um, oh that's another thing I haven't used on here pen ever uh, you could edge it with some pen or you can yeah throw stitching things like that and um, that would be fine there's that idea so that's just random random ones I've got okay and then I've broke, broke one of my things off after I'm to put it back on yeah you can always make another one yeah it's ever so cheap to make I've got loads and loads of foam still up there I didn't realise I've got I thought I'd run out I thought where's foam and it's still there this is another one okay so uh, just do it down this page got if he doesn't print I can always print it again yeah see that's again in it yeah and it doesn't really matter when you do this again and it doesn't really matter if it's not printed properly because it's uh, a very arty. Yeah. Oops, hold on, I've got to do a different... I'm going to do a different colour, what am I doing? Right, it doesn't matter because it's just arty, isn't it? <laughs> there we go. Uh, that's just lines. So I'm going to do that Mermaid Lagoon with lines. Okay. gone very mermaid lagoon that is not mermaid lagoon it's obviously a mix <laughs> oh it's probably got peacock feathers on or something um ooh, yeah there's one of my um i'm gonna do that with mermaid lagoon I will link my video in case anybody wants to know how to make these. I not they're not I haven't I don't think I actually made them, did I make don't actually say but it's so it's obvious really what you do. You just need some you need to put double foam always. I've seen people put single foam and I thought no they're gonna regret that later on. See that's a lovely strip. So I mean I've done long long ones, I've done lovely long ones. I don't, and then put them down the page which looks really nice okay so let's do one of those ones I was going to show you with the with all these little ones like this because then we've got lot I've got lots and lots of different colors okay let's have a look I've got four of those I mean I can't believe I've got them actually all of them I've got a selection of blue pens ready lot so prepared <laughs> I've got all these. Oh, white, white, white. Where's my uh, pen box? White pens. Yeah, I just bought some more marbling papers because I think it's worth showing you if you're interested in doing something like this. It's, I don't have to show you how to do it. It's ever so easy. You just put, just put your marbling. Drop your marbling. Um, ink in the water and swish it about with your finger and dip the pen I didn't use um, you can use marbling bath you can make a bath up you want a thicker a thing but uh, these are so these are the back the, and then I just put them on the line to dry and just hung them on the line with pegs or clothes clothes pegs as we say or clothes pins if you say other people might say so there's a lot that's a plain one I didn't swish it about, I love that colour. So yeah, there's things like that. And there's you know, the ones that didn't. That must be photo paper or something. I don't know if it works well on photo paper. It's card, it's card. It doesn't, there's certain papers it's not keen on, but copy paper, yes. Yes, it's fine on copy paper. Or copier paper. Copier paper. Right, so now I'm going to show you how I do these, okay. Um, I don't know if it's... I've not done a big one before. It's basically this. So I'm going to use my pens first, and it's... Oh, you're not... You're just doodling, okay. It's not drawing. I am not drawing. I am doodling. It's just... All you've got to do is swirl, swirl a, a pen around like that. Okay, that's how you do roses. 
and then you've possibly got a Posca and just put your Posca on top okay that's okay that's worked like that and then you get another colour so you've got different coloured roses okay so that scared you now aren't it because I said the word roses this is let's see if it works with the fluorescent what's the fluorescent well that's gorgeous isn't it that's supposed to be fluorescent <laughs> It's the F60. See, these are the Arctic acrylic markers. Um, pretty expensive, but worth it. But you, other pens will work. Other acrylic markers. These are brush markers. They will um, work too. I'm just going to show that. I'm just going to do a few of these. I know. Okay, that's not much different to that. Okay, what number's that? 5.35. It's totally different. <laughs> Right, just putting these on okay, so these are them. I don't know. Yeah, that sort of thing. Okay, I've done it. I think I did it on top of some um, stent, uh, reverse stencil there, the same as I did this one. That's like reverse. That's reverse stencil. Same as I did the first one, actually. But um, anyway, right then. <laughs> so let's. I'll show you how to. Perhaps I'm going to put some. Until we get to the next one, I'm going to do this. Okay, so even these are going to be flowers. Okay, so I'm just putting some little um, green marks, and then I'm going to put some leaves. Cute they are. This this is what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to perhaps cut it up for pockets if I want to. I can also that one looks like it's got hardly any um, blue on it, so I'm going to add some more. You can also add dark as well, if you want to add some dark to the light ones, it gives it like a shadow effect. Well, actually that's not worked, has it? Like, I don't know, it might, it, yes it has actually. I think it is that metallic, I can't see that one I've just done. It's got an extra dark bit in it, so. See these work, any of these work as a, um, a rose, don't they? <laughs> Just we've got to do is that and then that you can make you can do a little bit extra but I don't bother I just do it like that you can do a bit of squiggly lines around the outside but it's absolutely fine okay I'm not I'm, I'm ignoring things like that because that light didn't print so if I put a one through that it's going to look funny I don't know how roses, uh, roses, I don't know what they are. They might be of hydrangeas a bit, I suppose. I don't know if you agree. <laughs> um, yeah, I've done it, I'm doing it over the top of some of them. So I could carry on and do lots and lots of those. In fact, I could use them. With, I forgot another green. Yeah, because I was thinking, how am I going to do this? Because on here, it's pretty obvious. On a small one, it's obvious that you just continue down. But I think, how you do this? I haven't really put any on those. I'm thinking, if I'm making it into pocket, I mean, you can always add extras if you, if they seem to be missing. 
if you say if you do a pocket like that you do them little pockets um, and it seems to be missing you can always add some extra pen and that couldn't you yeah yeah I just wanted to show you this because I was so excited the other day when I made my I thought oh I'll have to show you this on um, when I made that little thing and I also did the butterfly and obviously if you've got but if you want to do a butterfly you can cut them out of uh, of a, a punch if you want or you can draw them like I sh I've showed you on that um, other video oh no that, that's another thing I haven't showed you yet those let me show you those oh, I'm going to finish that off okay perhaps finish it off later let me just show you that one because I did some uh, something with that one yeah I've had to remake that because I've lost the other one I don't know where it is so now I've got two somewhere okay um, I'm going to use this let me show you what I made with these because it's so cute okay and then I cut down say down the middle let me I don't know where my little um, clipper is. It must be in the other room. Anyway, let's make them into three. Let me show off my tool. I've got this, but you can, I've got you can got a bit of paper hanging off me. I use this one, okay, this is the 8mm for them, these to make little tickets out of, so you can use a, a circle, mini circle punch, so an 8mm circle punch or something, or 6mm, um, I don't even know what that is in inches, this is Vassen Creative, so it's German, so it's, um, so it's in millimetres, and then, and cut round the edges so you so if something didn't print properly you've got the well, I didn't do that bit actually but never mind you've got that round the edge and you can make little tickets and that cute I'd only do one because obviously it's obvious how you do them into and then I you can write tickets or you can I don't know if <laughs> I don't think I could print print tickets if you've got um a word that says tickets you could print it on or anything or you can leave it like that and um and put them in places these are really cute aren't they so you can make tickets out of them um make tickets out of anything you know anything like that that as well you can make tickets out of that so i've got them in here actually oh that's a cover i've done for a little booklet um Let's have a look. There, page edger, page edger there. Let me find. All oh, the tickets are in that thing, aren't they? This, the tickets are in here. I knew there was that somewhere there. There, look, I've put the tickets in here. I think they're an inch wide. I think I've done them a bit wider, but it doesn't really matter what size they are, does it? Yeah, they go to. And then there's that one. These are out. Of, these are actually very papery, but it works. I don't it too heavy. Yeah. So this is one of those. This is a hidden paper clip that was um, Heather and Young Studio. I've got that from. So that is just. This is. I like this design. You've got. I've got that. I used this uh, rubber stamp again on card, and that's just. Um, circles done on card so you could don't have to <laughs> you do not have to have anything special do you <laughs> yeah that's it that's amazing so these are all very that looks like it's been printed it hasn't it's just drawn drawn circles that's why you've done see it's doodling you can do little doodles on anything and this again as most of my stuff is is it's all my own work, okay, so I've included my um, marbling as my own work because it, it is real, it's <laughs> unique. And they're the originals and I've just put that down the page, okay, so this goes uh, on here. 
and that is amazing to do your own all your own stuff and that print that uh, I think you can good thing about this as long as you don't lift the middle bit you're all right you don't want to lift them there you go and that fixes on there Lovely, I love that idea of having the paper clip out. I haven't got it, I've only fixed it in with glue. Really, I should fix it in with um, double sided tape because I think that would be it work, probably hold it better. That's another one I've done. Okay, so that's all I've done there. That foam stamp is just basically square with um, sides cut out a bit. And then I've done, uh, I've used that punch with this punch I think all the ones slightly bigger to make some of them holes but then I've just dug my pen in and I've probably drawn a line I've seen now I've seen Kirsten Free has done some leaves using just pen and it looks amazing I don't know what she's used probably something like a pen um, make some amazing leaves on my um, Facebook group so if you're on my Facebook group, you would you would see uh, her leaves. She's done um, all different shapes like that. Cut them out of foam and then perhaps half them with a with something, and then done two different designs like circles and say lines. I know it's not like this, but that sort of thing on one side, and then done a different design on the other. Perhaps it's a yeah, so you can do that. Things like that, it looks really good. Yeah, so you can do everything, everything with foam stamps. So <laughs> I've got plenty of foam. I thought I was going to get some more, but I have got a massive load up there. I didn't know I had. Yeah, because I put things away and I think I won't need that. I won't need that for a while. I'm going to put it there. So then it goes right. Okay, so hopefully oh, that's another foam stamp. That's not massively brilliant, but I've put some lines on it to make it more blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so they are. All they are is circles cut in half, and then you use your envelope maker, or you, if you've got one of those ones that do it, which I have, do that lovely shape. It's amazing, isn't it? And that's mine. Yes, that's those. I drew them on afterwards, and all they've got round there is some little um, things. They they're all my design as well yeah that's seen that one and that one's edging pages this is a tn it's like a notebook um i think that's like it in its own right really because you can slip them into um the covers can't you but nah i don't need to do it with that i love that Yeah, so that's my, um, all going to be, everything in there is going to be by me. Um, I'm thinking of even doing some stencils on here, but I'm hoping to get, when I can afford it, I'm hoping to get a permanent blue, um, probably, oh yeah, I, think, I can't remember what colour it is now. It's a permanent archival ink anyway, so I can do it down, the, down there. Yeah, mine got a blue one. So I do hope you enjoyed watching today. Thank you so much. And please give me a thumbs up. That would be absolutely amazing. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.